A very good day. Today we would like to present the final report about major online clothing system. I'm Kamni Sambat, metric number 252849. Then let me start with the introduction to this system. The purpose of developing this system is to build from a manual system to a web-based and mobile-based system. This system allows customers to view clothing, make orders, make online payment, and allow staff to manage order details, update the stock, and view customer information. And then, major online clothing system is the developed to provide customer view and search for clothing. The customer can make an order by edit, edit, adding, deleting, and editing clothing into a shopping cart. They also can input the quantity and size of the clothing. After that, customer must log in into the customer account before making an online payment. When the order is order is done, the customer will receive their clothing. Furthermore, the staff can manage and check the availability of order. Staff also can update the stock and view customer information. So it will take a short amount of time to process the order, and this system will develop to overcome current problem that. Aim to help customer and staff by using this system is more systematic method method to replace the manual method. So, so may before we get into the main functionality, so let me over, over overview the objective of this system. This testing. So objective is to define the test case of the system to identify the defect of the system and to measure the quality of the system and after that is the problem statement most of people used to buy clothes using instagram and whatsapp to view the view and order their traditional clothing so this will take a some time and this platform cannot be used at the same time this is also a lack of the web-based web and mobile web platform. Another problem is that all the customer information is recorded in the manual method, such as as a logbook. However, the logbook are very easy to damage, and it consumes a lot of the time and energy. When the uh, staff search the customer information and order details one by one based on the record in the logbook after that is the list of the system and functionality for this uh, the functionality of this system are divided into for two categories for users and admin the first functionality are registration of users which will fill uh, which user will fill the customer details the number of field is 10 and sign in the existing user which will a uh, customer will uh, enter their email address and password to get into the system and editing the account will uh, customer will update all their details in this section and change the password uh, to the new one for admin, uh, they have two, which, which is add product and change password. Yeah, the info interface of the register, user registration. Uh, here is the login. This one is the edit account for the user one and change password to the new one. And this is the interface of the product category. And this one is the change for the admin, change password for admin. That's all. Thank you. My name is Tan Wei Li. Metric number is 259296. I triple E test pen. First is test brand identifier, master test brand, document version Majay 
FTP 1.0 system is Maje online coding system introduction this document set for a testing framework for the Maje online coding system the Maje online coding system developed in PHP and HTML to achieve functional testing backboard testing technique will be employed using the equivalent partitioning method using this technique will be enable the designing of test cases that validate the correctness of system with respect to testing requirement specification and use case also a ring test and html validation test will be conducted next is test item function the system that will be tested include the front end customer facing website along with the back end maje online coding system admin platform this system should be test in chrome firefox safari and internet explorer the system will be tested on window after that is software release issue the maje online coding system need a local host database along with gem to be fully testable this will allow the data to store into the database if the database is not accessible then the software will not testable this may affect the whole testing plan feature to be test in user platform we test registration for new user sign in add account change password in admin part we test add product and change password future not be tested is online payment to prepare will not be tested and the uh, as proof test will be conducted per the documented test case stored in test log the test manager will be create test run for each tester the tester will execute the test in test logger and mark each cache as pass fail skip the tester should give not on actual result and any other relevance be clear when possible when test are marked as fail bug report will automatically be created in issue tracker <coughs> integrated with test logger once complete the test manager should review the test run report in test logger and report back to the trim according next is item pass or fail criteria the result for each test will be compared to the pre-refined aspect test result as a uh, documented in the test plan if actual result match accepted result the test case will be marked as a pass item a test case will be considered as fail if the actual result produced by it execution that don't match the expect result in which case the actual result are locked in the test result the source of fail may to be application under test the test case the expected result or data in test environment test case fail will logger regardless of the source of the fail next is suspension criteria and resumption requirement in general testing will 
only stop if the system become inaccessible. If testing is suspended due to the system become inaccessible, testing will be resumed once access to the system is established. Test reviewable to summarize the test case execute and result of testing exercise. The bug found during the testing exercise will be logged in the bug database with a reference when the effect was uncovered and the step reproduce the behavior. Next is remaining test tasks. Software testing process. The following test process will be adopted in testing process and problem solution recommendation. And the uh, next is environmental need we need hardware like laptop and software we need chrome mozilla for and another browser and gem selenium ide and word editor next is staffing and training need the team will be consist of four members Testing should be done by two testers. Both testers should conduct testing on each system. The tester assigned should have basic knowledge of the major online coding system and responsibilities in developer is develop the system operational prototype, develop use case and requirement with review and for the tester is develop test case conduct functional testing conducting test and html validation test next is schedule this is the schedule for test plan functional testing result and final report and next is planning risk and contingency. If the first round of testing is not complete within one week, it could delay bug fix and final testing. If this has been, the testing would be pushed back and eventually affect the launch date. If the tester do not have Basic understanding of the major online coding system, the testing could be delayed, not conducted properly. Approve the four member of testing team, including the developer of major online coding system and our lecturer, Dr. Hasina Binti Muhammad, must agree for this test plan in order for the testing process to process until end. And grossly is Maje Mata Aya Jaya Enterprise. This is our test case design. We test first is register for new user. We test name email, password, IC number, and upload profile image with another type, address, postcode, city, stack, phone number, and, and that next is sign, sign in for existing user. We have test uh, email with email, long email type, password, low password, and then we test edit user. Uh, profile image, we upload uh, another file or image to test the function. And then name, email, IC number, 
address, postcode, city, stack, phone number. After that, we test change password. We test the current password field and new password, confirm password. After that is add data. This is in admin platform. Also same, uh, we test product image. We update the product image with another file type and then product name. We test product name with wrong type or invalid type. And then is product description, product price. After that, we test change password for admin. And change in the change password, got garden password, new password, compound password. That's all. Hi, my name is Soji Wong, magic number 259 and 521. So, this is the test case design using iTable A template. So, this is the first test case for valid data. Um, for the module, new user registrations. Um, this test case has 10 fields, uh, where you can see here the username, email, password, IC number, profile image, address, postcode, city, state, and phone number. So, here is the process of the test case. As you can see, most of the field has passed the test. So, this test case uh, has passed. So, next one is the invalid version for the user registration module and for this invalid we can see there is some field module field 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 module uh, value uh, this invalid username invalid password invalid profile picture and invalid address all this has failed the test so for the invalid version, uh, this test case uh, has failed the testing. So moving on, next is the module, uh, the valid module for user login, which involves two fields, email and password. So this valid version, uh, all of the data has passed the test. So next is the invalid. Invalid module, invalid data testing for the module user login. So for this one, uh, all the data also pass the test. So next is the valid module for the user edit account, which involve uh, field data such as profile image, username, uh, email. IC numbers, address, postcode, city, state, phone number. So for the for the valid module, uh, all of them have passed the test. As you can see right here. So here is the invalid versions for the edit account module. And as you can see, some of the some of the tests has failed, such as the uh, profile image and uh, the invalid username so this test case has failed the test testing so moving on this one is the module for change password for the normal user which involves current user current password new password and confirm password so for the valid data all of them have passed the test as you can see here so here is the invalid change password for the user. Um, this test case has failed because there are some key field data because uh, invalid password, invalid current, invalid current password, invalid new password, and invalid confirm password. So the next one is this one um, for the admin and product function, which involve product image. Product name, 
product descriptions and product price. As you can see, all the data has passed the test. So here is the invalid data, invalid module for the admin app product. So as you can see here, uh, the invalid product image and the invalid product name has failed the test. So this test case has failed. So the last module is this one. Change password for admin, similar like the earlier version. This one involves current password, new password, and confirm password. So as usual, for the valid one, all of the data has passed the test. And for the invalid, this three current password, invalid new password, and invalid confirm password has failed the test. So this test case is a fail. So in conclusions, for the manual testings, uh, all of the module and fields test case for the valid data has passed the test. However, for the invalid data, some of the data has failed the test. Okay, so uh, and the one that now for the manual testing. So this one is for the automated testing uh, by using Tenim IDE. So this one, uh, first section is for the valid data test case. For the first module, as you can see, all of the com commands uh, has passed. As you can see from the log, log bar right here, all of the log, all of the process has passed. So the first module has passed. The second module, sign in for existing user, also passed. Edit account has passed as well. Same for the change password for user. And then this one, add product for admin, has passed the test. The change password for admin also has passed the test. So the next session is for the invalid data test case. So for the resolution for a new user, first module has passed the test. Here is the uh, here is the screenshot of the process, and then for the second module also has passed the test. Third module has passed some screenshot. Four modules has passed the passed the test as well for the change password. This is the fifth fifth module, so has passed the test as well. Here is the screenshot. Uh, the last module change password has passed the test as well. So um, yeah, here is the result from using the Selenium automated testing tool. Okay, now I will be presenting about the testing report summary for uh, both the manual testing and automated testing using Selenium for our project. So the first one is the focus, of course this report is uh, uh, to explain the various activities has been performed as a part of the testing for the margin system. System overview, so this one talks about talk, uh, what margin actually is uh, about, uh, what is used for what kind of system it is. So this testing, testing scope, so uh, in scope we have uh, this is the few module that we have test. So as you can see, regist regist registration for the new user, sign in for existing user, edit account, change password, admin add new product, and change password for admin. So some of the testing out of scope was not test. So some uh, payment process uh, also uh, will not test. So here is the matrix. So the first one is uh, for the manual testing. So let's see. Uh, for the manual testing, for the valid data, the test case versus the execute. So we have the uh, the D1 test case plan. The D1 test case has been executed. So all the D1 test case for the valid data manual testing has passed. Now, so there is no uh, few test case for the valid data. So Things are not the same for the invalid data test case because as you can see here, uh, only 15 out of 31 test case has passed the test, while 16 has failed the test for the invalid data test case for manual testing. 
So here is the status and severity for the valid. There is no failed test case, so everything is alright. So for the invalid, there is 16 digital severity for invalid data. Here is the defect distributions. Uh, as usual, for the valid, there is no field test case, so everything is okay. So, for the invalid data test case, there is 16 field test cases, uh, which come from 4 of them come from res registration for the new user, 3 of them from the edit and down, 3 of them come from the change password, 3 of them from add product. And three of them from the change password. So, sum up total of 16 field test cases. Here is the graph for the defect distributions. Now, for the automated testing. So, for the automated testing, for very data, all of them have 31 out of 31 has passed the test. The same goes to the, for the invalid data, 31 out of 31 of them has passed the test. None of the test case has failed, so defect and status and severity. Since none of the test case has failed, so all of them are zero. Same goes for the dis defect distributions. So here we have, we have some manual and automated testing results. Okay, so as we can see from the tables, um. More, uh, both of the manual and automated testing for all the device test cases has passed uh, with no failure. So for the valid data, manual and automa automated testings, all, all of them has passed the testing. But for the invalid data, uh, it's different because for manual testing only have 15 test cases has passed and 16 of them have failed. However, if uh, we are using the automated testing tool Selenium. All of the invalid data pass the test. So these are different by using manual and automated testing. So here are some other pro and cons by using the manual testing and automated testing. So first one I will talk about the manual testing. Of course, the advantage of using manual testing is the the tester can understand the system artifact better because uh, all the testing are done manually, user have to enter the data manually, so the tester has uh, can under understand the system better. However, on the other side, it's more time consuming because all the testing process is done manually. So another is no additional tool is required because uh, the testing is done by the tester itself, no other tool is required, it's much easier. However, because it is done by a human, it may lead to a human error in testing. So it may provide uh, in unreliable testing results. For the automated testing, the advantage clearly uh, is less time consuming because it is done by a tool. And then it is more efficient as the tool runs the test, not the human itself. However, the disadvantage is the tester may lack the understanding of the system itself because everything is done by a tool. And then of course it's require additional tools such as Selenium. This one is the type of testing has performed for uh, in our project. The first one is black box testing. So for the manual testing, we, we conduct using black box testing uh, using a technique called equivalent partitioning, um, where the data has to divide into valid and invalid partitions, like uh, explained from my friend values for the test case. So the next one is automated testing using Selenium. So this one is uh, done by using Selenium IDE tool extension with Google Chrome. So this is the test environment and the tools. So the application URL is for the local host. And then this one is another link for the system. So the system server use a local server database use the MySQL. And this one also use local server as well also. So here are some of the lessons learned from the testing process we done. So the first one is not all the properties of the software product can be tested. So the solution is to pick the important test case as such as the functional of the system. 
The second one is, uh, yes, we noticed that the test cases are tough, difficult, and challenging to design and implement. We are having clear functional specification of the system. So the solution we provide is go through the whole system testing before performing the benchmark testing on the system. So some the last one is some of, of the test cases might face failures such as the uh, invalid data for the manual testing. So the solution is to improve the system artifacts. So here are some of the recommendations based on the failed test case for the invalid data. So for the first one is uh, we recommend that do not allow combinations of alphabet numeric and or symbol for the username because uh, the username for the invalid data uh, fail the test. So second one is does not do not allow the value less than six character for password. The third one is do not allow invalid file file, file format such as document for the profile features. So the fourth one is do not allow symbol only numbers value only or character for address. So the fifth one is does not allow uh, document file for the profile feature such as same as the third one. Do not allow combinations okay same as the first one. So do not allow character uh, let value less than six character for current password. Okay, so password must have at least more than six character. So, uh, do not allow symbol only for number values, blank space for product name. Do not allow symbol only, number values only, or blank, blank, blank space only for product description. And the same goes for the password. So, the best practice is uh, a tester via knowledge of internal structure of the website or system, or the system artifacts. Test the web page by only using a browser the inputs and verifying the outputs against an unexpected outcome. So in this example, the tester has no knowledge of the implementations, including specific programming language. Also, there is no need of having detailed functional knowledge of the system to the tester. This one is the ASIC criteria. So as the conclusions, while the system artifact we test the magic online floating system is still in early version, it is recommended that the testing team at the system has to fix the critical error of the function while becoming the better version in the future because as you can see and earlier, some of the invalid manual testing data has filled the test case so the system still have to improve Alright, uh, that's all for me, thank you